The mighty Mississippi flowing through the city of New Orleans. Welcome, sports fans. Thank you for joining us. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. And our broadcast team tonight, Grant Hill and Steve Smith. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Here's a look at what's coming up for the New Orleans Pelicans. On Wednesday, they'll be facing Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. And then on Friday, they'll be taking on Rudy Gobert and the Utah Jazz. The road is never the highlight of your schedule for any team. But for these guys, it is a chance to go out there, test themselves, and see how well they gel outside of home court. It could be a very valuable experience. And before we tip off here, it's time to hear from our reporter. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. It's not often one team loses a superstar big man and immediately welcomes another. But that's been the case with the Pelicans and Zion Williamson. Last season, he tied the record for most consecutive 20-point games, shooting over 50% from the field. 25 straight, alongside Shaquille O'Neal. Brian, impressive. Outstanding. Thanks, Allie. Already some surprises in the new year, Smitty, including a couple breakout teams. I love to see that, B.A. More competition just adds more excitement. Looking at the starting five for the Minnesota Timberwolves. They've got Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards out there with Malik Beasley. Then there's Jared Vanderbilt, and it's McDaniels in at the three spot. And for New Orleans, it's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. Zion at power forward with Valanchunas at six. Tip-off goes to Minnesota. Outside Edwards. Pass to Towns. Here's McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. 14 feet away.
no good. A bit short. Here's Alexander Walker. Minnesota with the rebound. And the ball out of play. The Pelicans will have it. Pass to Graham. Now Williamson. Here's Valanchunas. Covered by Towns. Here's Alexander Walker. Back to Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Love the flush there from Valanchunas. Leaving no doubt on that play. Now here's Towns. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. This is why Williamson's teammates love him. He makes them look good on these alley-oops. Towns against Valanchunas. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And when you watch Towns, one thing is clear. He's one of the best in the league. He gives you so much when he's on the floor. And you know, Grant, with Towns, he's arguably one of the top dozen big men in the league. And you forget how young he is, B.A. I mean, a few years from now, he might be top five. He has all the tools necessary to be a superstar. And that one falls for Towns. The number one pick in the 2015 draft. Towns wants to keep getting better and adding to his game. And so Towns nails them both. It's not luck that he's so steady at the line. It's through repetition and hard work. Pass to Williamson. And a great assist by Graham as that one goes. I admired the defender's ambition, but Zion's artful work inside gets him the shot. To the paint. Here's Towns, and the bucket counts, and he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. The Pelicans making a switch here. Hayes is checked in. For New Orleans, they've gone three of four to get things going. Edwards against Graham. Pass to Murphy. Back to Graham. Five to shoot. And the Pelicans with possession here. They trail by one. Pass to Hayes. And finished off by Hayes. <laughs> it's like he's doing pull-ups on the rim. Looked like a schoolyard playground right there. Edwards with it. Banked it in off the glass. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's Murphy. And here's Hayes. Outside Grant. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing.
first one falls. And both free throws good for Graham. The Timberwolves trail. Edwards, a pass to Towns. Releases. Murphy pulls it in. Good shot, gone bad. Gotta finish there. Pass to Alexander Walker. And even from where we're sitting, clearly tell it was a foul. All right, guys, what do you think so far about the offensive approach for the Pelicans? Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off and insists. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. They're showing some muscle here in the first half as well, and getting sure a lot too. of their points in the paint. First one falls for him. It's both from the stripe. The Timberwolves have gone three of five shooting so far. Up top, Beasley. He's defended by Hayes. And the whistle on the shot. Got some contact there. Misses the shot, but he'll shoot two. On the second the Pelicans have gone four or five so far looking sharp pass to Williamson here's Alexander Walker Hayes with it he's guarded by Beasley and that one's good Hayes has gotten his second bucket rock the baby working the size advantage inside The outside. Up and in on the layup. That's a great move if you can pull it off, especially against tight defense. Graham, the pass to Hayes. And Williamson throws it down. The gliding the pass to where it needed to be. Wow, a strong finish to seal the deal. Edwards against Graham. Edwards can't hit. For New Orleans, they've gone six or seven and looking good. Here's Hayes, and he makes it. Hayes has got six points. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Edwards, a pass to Towns. Now here's Edwards. Out to the wing. Pulls it. Got a hand on it. Graham. We saw him with 19 his last time out. Pass to Williamson. Good. And Graham with the setup. Give him eight points now. They have no answer defensively inside. Graham against Edwards. Here's McDaniels. To the wing. Right side. Here's Towns. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. Towns has gotten his third basket of the night. Pass to Murphy. 
to the inside. And there's a three-second violation. Here are some of the best and most intelligent shooters in the association. Number one, Zion Williamson. And this guy just flat out knows how to score. A high IQ offensive player with a strong feel for what shots to take, which is why his field goal percentage leads the league. Now here's Edwards. 23 points his last outing. Beasley against Hayes. Six to shoot. To the middle. And stolen by Williamson. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Graham against Towns. And they double up Williamson. Here's Alexander Walker. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Reed's checked in for Vanderbilt. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. And last season, a new entity, NBA Africa, created to handle all business on the continent. Fred, you're an investor. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it's so exciting, B.A. First of all, the game of basketball growing all over the world, and particularly on the continent in Africa. So I think it's not only great from a financial standpoint, but you're creating opportunities for the league, and you're exposing people to Africa to this beautiful game. I think it's a win-win, and I'm so excited. Alexander Walker with the bucket. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Beasley outside. Pass to Reed. Outside Edwards. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That's on Devontae Graham and Anthony Edwards. He had his ups and downs as a rookie. The talent is abundant, though. Yeah, I mean, he just needs to learn his spots on the floor. Find where he's most effective attacking. And once he gets all that sorted, he'll be a more consistent player. Good, Edwards. Some changes for Minnesota. Prince is checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. Ennis comes in for McDaniels. And it's Beverly in for Beasley. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. New Orleans in the lead. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Temple. Back to Hernan Gomez. Now Sadoransky. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's going to be on Naz Reed. One of the more complete guards coming out of Europe. Sadoransky has pretty good athleticism and tremendous desire. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. And they're doing a great job of earning their trips to the line. The Timberwolves trail. Beverly outside. Outside Edwards. Pass to Ennis. 
Five on the clock. Here's Reed. Hits it from about six feet out. <laughs> boy, oh boy. Both teams lighting it up to start this game. And you wonder how long they can keep it going. At some point, you expect the defense will adjust. Now we get a chance to check some stats for Malik Beasley. He's been really dialed in from deep during these last five games. Looking assertive and in control every time he rises up to shoot from beyond the three-point line. And it's been fun to watch. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And they're just hacking away out there. I mean, it's costing them, too, at the free throw line. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The Timberwolves have got seven of 11 shots to find the mark. Here's Ennis. Doesn't go that time. New Orleans taking it the other way. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. You have to credit the game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. They knew that the arena would be rocking. And if they could execute well on the offensive end, they knew they could quiet down this hostile crowd. And the Pelicans with possession here. The Timberwolves getting their last shot to go. Count it. Alexander Walker's got 11 points. Want to score in the NBA? Picks can really force the D to make tough choices. Yeah, he tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. one. Hart's checked in for the Pelicans. And both free throws good for Edwards. And it's New Orleans ball. Seven point differential. Last time they came together was in Minneapolis, where they fell to the Timberwolves. And in their last game against this club, turnovers really were a problem for them. A combination of unforced errors and just poor decision-making. They need to be much better in that aspect of the game this time around. It looked like the defense just flat-out froze out there. Clear breakdown in communication to allow that easy bucket. As to Prince. Gomez with a rebound. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Hayes misses. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad because it was a nice look. And Dennis, here we go. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Here's Edwards, covered by Sadoransky. And you see that in building their lead, they've done an impressive job on the defensive glass. Hernan Gomez on the wing. That one's off. Okay, 
He hits the second from the line. For Minnesota, they've gotten eight of 16 attempts to fall. Beverly outside. Edwards against Hart. 13 feet out. Edwards can't hit. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. And the Pelicans lead by 12. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Edwards, good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Look at the unselfishness by Prince. Doesn't have what he wants. Keeps the ball moving. Pass to Sadaransky. And he drives in. Shoots over Beverly. And too long on the shot. Outside Edwards. Here's Ennis. Shot's blocked. And he gets it back. I can't believe he hasn't hit a shot all period. Someone else needs to step up and help close the gap. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Sadaransky outside. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. I like Sadaransky's determination. Refuses to let the foul stop the shot. Drops the first. Williamson's checked in for Hayes. So one for two that time at the strike. The Timberwolves shooting 45% from the field in this first. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. the first. The Pelicans making a switch here. Grant's checked in. And so he hits both. New Orleans in the lead. to heart here's temple the three edwards pulls it in i love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter and here is williamson hart finds graham fires it and again no good by new orleans and so it's the New Orleans Pelicans. They have a nice nine-point cushion at the end of the quarter. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. 
This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. This is exactly what you want to see if you're a coach. Your team starting fast and playing with confidence. The Pelicans shooting the ball with purpose. They're 68% from the field. On the court for the Timberwolves. Second quarter underway. Carl Anthony Towns is out there with Nas Reed. Then there's Anthony Edwards. Then there's Torian Prince. And it's Beverly in at the point guard position. Got a piece of it. Hard against Reed. Edwards, a pass to Beverly. Pass to Reed. Just five to shoot. The Timberwolves need to get off a shot here. Here's Beverly. The shot won't fall. Great D that time from Williamson. Valanchunas passes to Graham. Back to Valanchunas. Good. And Graham with the setup. Graham's got his third assist of the night. When you earn your keep inside, you get used to fighting through contact. Valanchunas getting it done. Pass to Prince. Now here's Reed. Graham covering. The 15-footer. Reed can't hit. Here's New Orleans. They haven't allowed any points in the second quarter. Next matchup, they'll be at home against the Wizards. That'll be the second of a two-game stretch at home. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, DA. The Minnesota Timberwolves and their sister franchise, the Lynx, under new management, or at least that's the plan starting in 2023. A key part of the sales agreement was stipulation that the teams remain in Minnesota, something that's got to make the fans in the Twin Cities very happy. Well, that's great news, Allie. Thanks for that. Hard to find fault with the D. Towns just beating them with better offense there. Here's Graham. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. And Grant, you played almost two decades in the league. What do you think some of the biggest highlights in your career were? Really just, you know, playing on some great teams with great players, uh, the relationships, the experiences. I didn't win an NBA championship, uh, but I am more than blessed with having an incredible 19-year career. What's up? Free throws good for Graham. Here's Beverly. Pass to Towns. Beverly outside. Beasley for three. Pure from three-point range. Beasley's got his second bucket on the night. I love the patience Beverly has developed with the ball in his hands. Terrific find. Here's Valanciunas. And again, New Orleans, no good. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Vanderbilt. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. Oh, what tremendous focus to absorb the contact and find a way there to finish. For New Orleans, they've gotten two of five shots to fall this second quarter. Graham, the pass to Valanchunas. Pass to Williamson. Sinks that one from the post. Williamson's got ten points in the game. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. 
Here's Vanderbilt. Stolen by Valanciunas. Graham with it. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. The Timberwolves have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Here's Vanderbilt, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. This is who Towns is, an unselfish, versatile big man with great court awareness. Time called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for the Pelicans. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Back to Graham, lets it fly. And they'll get another chance. Great positioning on the putback. I love how efficient Zion is. Dependable at picking smart shots to take. Beverly finds Towns. Takes it inside, and that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. I mean, Zion hit the ground running when he first got into the league. He went from the first pick overall in 2019 to an all-star in no time flat. Oh, they get a hand on it. Back to Vanderbilt. Pass to McDaniels. Driving in. One-handed slam right there. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. We talk about it time and time again. Turnovers are costly, especially when the game is close. Betty, when you think about the rapid ascension of Zion Williamson, you also see his improvement clearly in his stat line. That's right. He's taking and hitting more outside shots, playing with terrific physicality and that will make your numbers go up across the line defensively they've got to get more bodies in the paint that's three straight field goals from below the free throw line the 17 footer that went off the back iron and out and the Timberwolves with possession they're on a 14 to 6 run Beasley pass to Towns Ooh, now 7 for 9 after that make that's just Big Cat using his upper body strength to convert through contact. Left side, Graham. Over McDaniels. Graham, that's good. Graham's got five points now this quarter. Oh, very clever how he creates space against a bigger defender. And that's tough to do from the mid-range because help can come from anywhere, but he beats everyone to the punch. Good from Beasley. Some changes for New Orleans. Hernan Gomez is checked in for Williamson. And it's Sadoransky in for Graham. That one's no good. The Pelicans have gotten six of their 12 attempts to go since the end of the first. Pass to Alexander Walker. 
Back to Hernan Gomez. Carries it down low. Hernan Gomez has got five. For Minnesota, they've gotten eight of their first ten to go. Great shooting here in the second quarter. Down low. To the right side. Now here's Beasley. Launches it. That one's off. He's two for three in the game. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Alexander Walker with the bucket. Minnesota's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Pass to McDaniels. Towns against Valanciunas. Inside. And here's Sadoransky. Eight points in his last time out. Oh, it's blocked by Towns. I mean, if height wasn't enough, Towns also has serious athleticism. There's just no easy shots when he's around. And it's rejected. Pass to Alexander Walker. Here's Hernan Gomez. The rebound by Beasley. The Timberwolves trail. Now Beverly. Clock at six. It's McDaniels on the wing. Oh my! Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Hey, nice work attracting the foul from deep. He'll shoot three. That free throw, no good. Hayes is checked in for Valanchunas. Ennis, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Anthony Edwards comes in for Beverly. Good on the second one. He nails the third. New Orleans in the lead. Now here's Sadoransky. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Pass to Hernan Gomez. The rebound by the Timberwolves. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Here's Beasley, and that one is stuffed right through. Just such a terrific dunker. Man, born to fly, that's for sure. Shot from 12. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Ennis has got four rebounds now. Blocked! And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. And the Pelicans making a change here. Temple's checked in. Reed's checked in for the Timberwolves. Prince comes in for McDaniels. Here's Edwards. Ten points for him. Another miss by Minnesota. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Beasley. Alexander Walker with the bucket. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. It's Edwards on the wing. Covered by Sadoransky. Tries again. And Edwards with the layup. Edwards got 12 points. He's really finding his rhythm here. I mean, smart move to keep feeding him the ball. Let him decide whether to shoot it, whether to pass it. He's your catalyst right now. Now here's Beasley. He's got nine. 
it's tipped. Out of bounds. Timberwolves ball as Minnesota keeps possession. Hayes against Edwards. Clock at four. Shoots it from the high post. After a sharp first quarter, he's not shooting as well here in the second. Pass to Hayes. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Beasley. The shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Minnesota's gone 1-2 from downtown here in the second. Reed for three. Sadoransky pulls it in. And the Pelicans shooting about 43% from the field in the second. And there's 138 left in the second. Out to the right wing. Here's Temple. And it's Ennis with the rebound. Ennis has got a rebound number five here tonight. Beasley outside. to Prince oh and there's the whistle on the shot so two free throws for him coming up it's gonna go on Jackson Hayes to succeed in this league you can never be satisfied it's a certain mentality and Prince has that First free throw is good. Hart's checked in for the Pelicans. He's perfect from the line this time. A minute nine left to play in the first half. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Temple. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Shot clock at five. Hart goes in. Second shot opportunity. Hernan Gomez gets the bucket. Salvage the possession. He's a terrific offensive rebounder. The Timberwolves trail. Beasley outside. Great D that time from Sadoransky. New Orleans is shooting a solid 53% from the floor. Out to the right wing. Pass to Hayes. Here's Temple. Driving inside. That one doesn't drop. Nice D from Reed. Minnesota has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. Right side, Edwards. And Reed with a basket on the assist from Edwards. Edwards has got three assists now in this one. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Pelicans on top, leading by a point, and will return shortly. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Things were going New Orleans way from the beginning. They led by as many as 12 points, fueled by tough defense and great offense. At the end of one, they were already up nine. Heading into the second quarter, the wheels started to fall off the cart as they were outscored by a healthy margin, but were still able to limp into halftime, nursing a one-point lead. Kenny, your thoughts, how the Pelicans are playing.
The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle in the first half. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. And now the starters can appreciate not having to carry the load on their own. And Shaq, what would you think about Minnesota? They were strong in transition. Seemed like the guys fed off the higher tempo. Certainly, they definitely got the looks they wanted. Playing an outstanding game. If they can keep it up in the second half, they may wear the other side out. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. You know, Carl Anthony Towns has been exceptional here, guys. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Zion at power forward with Valanchunas at center. It's Graham and Alexander Walker at the one and the two. That's the group for Willie Green getting going here in the second half. Offensive rebound. Minnesota shooting about 47%. A nice number. Edwards finds Towns. Double team on Towns. Here's Edwards. Plenty of space. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. New Orleans in the lead. Pass to Valanchunas. Graham with it. Here's Murphy on the wing. Alexander Walker. To the middle. Here's Williamson. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. You know something Zion Williamson was at the forefront of was helping arena workers affected by the COVID pandemic. He set an unbelievable example with his generosity. That's good from Williamson. And you're referring to Zion's pledge to pay the salaries of so many workers furloughed during that trying time. NBA Zion's effort led to a lot of other NBA players following suit. It was great to see just how much NBA players care about their communities and the people behind the scenes. Now here's Graham. Shot from 12. McDaniels with the rebound. Beasley outside. Over Williamson. Ooh, once again, off the mark by Minnesota. Starting to have with three straight misses. Not how they envisioned this one. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Only one for four in this half. Sometimes it's execution. Sometimes the shots just don't go down. Here's Edwards. The Timberwolves again can't hit. They just don't have it right now. 0 for 4. Must have been one poor speech at halftime. And Williamson throws it down. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized. Defense pays. Beasley pass to Edwards. Back to Beasley. Let's it go from deep. Kept alive. Aggressive play by Towns on the glass. Recapturing possessions so he could take it right back up. Graham, the pass to Williamson. Good on the bucket. Time out, time out. Williamson's got 19. The assist numbers certainly stand out. <laughs> They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Minnesota calls timeout. You look at Zion Williamson. What a contribution. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout.
A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. For a big, Towns is an effective free throw shooter. You really can't give him too many looks from the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Towns. Falls, so he hits both of them. And the big fella with the skill level showing a soft touch at the line. Pass to Williamson. Little turnaround. Rebound Minnesota. Edwards got his fourth rebound in this one. Beasley with it. The three ball. Another miss by Minnesota. I mean, he's trying to shoot his way out of what's becoming a prolonged cold streak. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Now here's Beasley. Nine points in the game. Towns down low. Valanchunas on him. Pass to Alexander Walker. His first shot coming late. That one rolls around and rims out. Minnesota has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the third. And the shot's good. Beasley's got 11. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Here's Graham with the drive. And finished off by Graham. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. But not every point guard can give you that. The ability to finish with that level of authority. Now here's Towns. 21 points in the game. And a bit of a battle for the ball. And the officials signal a jump ball here. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And this is exactly why he's out here. In order to block shots in tight games like this. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Shot clock at six. Edwards can't hit. He's had a tough time getting it going. And he's put this team behind the eight ball. Here's Graham. That's good. And it's Williamson with the assist. And now a six-point Pelican lead. The Timberwolves shooting just 42% so far in the game. Edwards, a pass to Towns. Going inside. No good there. Nice D from Valanciunas. Pass to Graham. Back to Williamson. Vanderbilt pulls it in. And the Timberwolves with possession here. They'll be hosting Miami for their next game. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. <laughs> Look at Towns asserting himself inside. He knows he can muscle his way to a shot anytime. Here's Alexander Walker. 15 points in the game. Knocked loose. And the ball is tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And so it's New Orleans with it. Here's Graham. Hey, shooting the ball well. He's 5 for 9 in the game. Things started to click for him in the second half. You can tell the focus and the intent is all there. Edwards, a pass to Towns. And here's Edwards. Right wing. Tipped. You see the length of Valanciunas on display with that block. Just went up and got it. And lately, this guy is finding points. I mean, just a beautiful second chance bucket right there. That's a carryover from the way he played in their last game. 
all-out energy plays on his way to a huge performance. New Orleans calls timeout. Hayes is checked in for the Pelicans. Sadoransky comes in for Alexander Walker. Beverly, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. The Pelicans have gone 6 of 13 to open up this second half. Pass to Valentunas. Now here's Graham. Now Valentunas. Here's Murphy. Just five on the clock. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. That three's off the mark. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. Here's Beasley. That's good. And now he's five for 11 in this one. In a tight game, they wanted to make sure of that possession. Pass to Hayes. And here's Graham. No good on the triple. Here's McDaniels. Valanchunas covering. Out to Beasley. For the lead! Sadoransky pulls it in. Sadoransky's got four rebounds in the game. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. On the break. Off target from three-point range. The Timberwolves trail. Now Beverly. Pass to Towns. Here's McDaniels. Covered by Sadoransky. Here's Towns. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. New Orleans has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Graham with it. Out left to the wing. Here's Valanciunas. Good. And Graham with the setup. Graham's got six assists now in the game. When Valanciunas is getting it to fall from there, the defense is in trouble. Now here's Beverly. Beasley with it. Now Sadoransky defending. And a two-handed jam. All he needed was a little separation. So effective. Or cleared the path, put him in position for a prime-time dunk. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Here's Graham. 13 points in the game. And finished off by Hayes. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. Timeout call, the Timberwolves. So both teams changing it up here. Well, the Timberwolves shooting about 43% on this one. 
Beasley outside. Pass to Prince. And it's out of bounds to Minnesota. Now Reed. Six to shoot. And here's Beverly. He can't hit that time. Some solid defense from Hayes. Down low. From eight feet away. The six-footer. He's off on that one. Now Minnesota takes it the other way. Here's Prince. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. I love that focus of Torian Prince. Hand all in his face, and he still knocked it down. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's an eight-footer. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. To the inside, Prince lays it up and banks it in. And now just a one-point New Orleans lead. Torian Prince takes the hit, maintains focus. He's a tough individual. And stolen by Beasley. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. New Orleans has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. And he lobs it up. And finished off by Hayes. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Beverly, the pass to Reed. Back to Beverly. Uses the glass to finish the layup. I love this about Patrick Beverly. He's just a fighter. He's never going to back down. You know, Josh Hart won't wow you with the scoring or flashy plays. But he does all the little things for his teams. A 6-5 wing. Hart was one of the best rebounders in the league in the 2021 season. That number really jumps out at you for someone his height. Now, when we talk about Hart, Smitty, he's been underrated, it seems, from the moment he entered the league. You're right, B.A., playing four years in college. He was the final pick of the 2017 first round. What a value pick that's turned out to be. Jason's outperformed a bunch of guys who went in the top ten. That free throw misses, and the Pelicans making a change here. And he sinks the second. We've got 128 left in the third. Beasley outside. This for the tie! And the layup is good. Beasley's got eight here in this quarter. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Pass to Murphy from outside the arc. Rebound Minnesota. Beasley's got rebound number five here tonight. For the lead! They get the rebound. No good that time. Reed's gone two of five from the floor. Here's Hart. Sweet little floater. Hart's got five now. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Pass to Prince. Can't get it to fall. New Orleans in the lead. Hayes, pass to Hart. And here's Hernan Gomez. Reed defending. Hernan Gomez up top. He has seven. Six on the shot clock. Deflected! Torian Prince saying, not on my watch. Spectacular D. Now here's Beasley. And it's flushed down! A nice jam. I just love the aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. It's a tie game in New Orleans. 
And we're just moments away from the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. You can count on him to deliver a few assists like this one each and every night. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. Torian Prince is out there with Nas Reed. Then it's James Ennis. Then it's Malik Beasley. And it's Edwards in at the point. It's stolen by Hart. Pass to Williamson. Here's Murphy. Three-pointer off the mark. And for Minnesota, they're shooting about 43% on this one. Outside Edwards. Here he goes. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. But not every point guard can give you that. The ability to finish with that level of authority. And he goes right after the guy who just scored on him. Oh, he made sure to return the favor. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Man, he made sure to get his money's worth on that foul. First free throw is good. Alexander Walker, he's checked in for Hart. And the Timberwolves also making a change. Vanderbilt's checked in. Both good from the line that time. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. The Pelicans trail. Hernan Gomez. Williamson left side. It falls, and now he's 10 of 15 shooting. Nice work. The explosiveness gets Zion through the contact. Defender didn't stand a chance. Now here's Beasley. To the paint. Here's Vanderbilt. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. That'll shoot two. <laughs> no debate there. He, he got hammered. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Falls for him. That misses, so he splits the free throws. You know he wanted to knock down all his shots at the line, but he still did enough to put them in front. Back to Williamson with a nine-footer. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. 
Vanderbilt's got four rebounds in the game. And Ennis, here we go. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. That was just great work to battle through contact and will in the shot. And a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. I'll tell you something else. The points they've scored on the fast break tonight have been a major factor. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Sadoransky right side. And he lays it up and in. Even against contact, Sadoransky stays agile and just plays right through it. Minnesota in the lead. Edwards with it. Pass to Reed. It's Beasley on the wing, down low. Four seconds left, and he dunks it down. And that's why you don't give up on the glass. Man, his efforts, well rewarded right there. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Edwards finds Beasley inside. Here's Vanderbilt. Howard down after the assist. Led him to the lane. Mm, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. Now Sadoransky. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Now Sadoransky. Guarded by Edwards. Down to five on the shot clock. The shot. And they recover it. Here's Hernan Gomez. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And he's able to get it back. And he gets it to go. Williamson's gotten four this quarter. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. Here's Beasley. Good. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. Pass to Williamson. We talk about Zion strength, but the body control is also elite, especially for a guy his size. And they get it back. Easily outside. Here's Reed. Easily outside. Goes back up. It's deflected. Here's Murphy. He's guarded by Beasley. And Williamson throws it down. We see it night after night. Zion, relentless assault on the cup. Pass to Edwards. Back to Beasley. Here's Ennis. Over Sadoransky. Ennis misses. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Williamson is doubled, and we're going to have a jump ball. So it's the Pelicans now. Pass to Sadoransky. To the middle. Here's Alexander Walker. And good. Coming on the assist by Sadoransky. Sadoransky's got four assists now tonight for Minnesota. They've gotten five shots out of nine to go in this fourth. Beasley outside. Reed with it. Clock at six. Ennis. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. And the 
first one at the line is good. And the Pelicans making a change here. Valanchunas has checked in. Carl Anthony Towns has checked in for the Timberwolves. McDaniels comes in for Beasley. Makes both free throws. And here are the Pelicans now. Sadoransky outside. Pass to Williamson. And it's good. Two points. Williamson's got 17 points here in the second half. Because of Zion's strength and explosiveness, he's nearly unguardable around the rim. And Minnesota calls time here. You look at Zion Williamson. What a contribution. You have to make it harder for him to score. Deny the ball, even double, whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you. Beverly, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch was going over with his team. He told his players, you know your job. Now just go out and do it. Don't get caught up in the moment. I want you to play with a steady pulse. He understands the emotions can run high at this stage of the game. All right, Allie, thanks once again. Shot clock at six. Poke loose. Here's Vanderbilt. Alan is covering. And it's going to be a 24-second violation. They turn it over. For New Orleans, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Sadoransky. Oh, the dunk by Williamson. With good size, vision, and ability to pass the ball, Sadoransky can make some sweet dishes. The Timberwolves trail. Edwards. Here's Towns. That one no good. Sadoransky outside. Pass to Williamson. Into the lane. And good. Coming on the assist by Sadoransky. And now it's a four-point Pelican lead. The Timberwolves have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. They're searching for a way to score. Their yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Out to Beverly. Five on the clock. Pass to Edwards. Now here's Towns. McDaniels from long range. No good on the shot. Seems like this offense is being executed the way it was designed. Yeah, I'm sure Coach couldn't be happier with the results. Sadoransky outside. Here's Alexander Walker, guarded by Edwards. From deep three-point range, Towns with a rebound. Towns has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Outside Edwards. Back to Daniels. Looking to win the drought. Oh, 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 oh my way goodness. Up. Oh, save that for the dunk contest. That flush was so extra. Whether or not this game is close, he's the same guy. Focused on finishing firm at the rim. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Timeout called. The Pelicans.
Let's take a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Anthony Edwards. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. The Pelicans making a switch here. Graham's checked in. Beasley's checked in for the Timberwolves. Here's Murphy. Pass to Graham. Three-pointer. Murphy shot is good. And the Pelicans lead by five. And what's working here? Each guy is willing to make the next pass. Valachunas against Beasley. Here's Towns. The 11-footer misses off the right iron. Williamson inside, working on Vanderbilt, and the ball out of play. The Timberwolves will have it. The Timberwolves have gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Here's Edwards. Count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed pass. Edwards has got six points in the quarter. New Orleans has gotten one of three to fall from downtown in the fourth. Graham goes in. Can't hit that one. Oh, good D by Edwards. Towns down low. Nice work on the boards, paying off with a basket. Towns has got 27. And in the big moments, Towns ups the ante, which allows him to knock down the important shots. Woo what a big finish out of the backcourt. That might be exactly what they needed at this point of the game. It's a tight contest. Those type of plays can fire up your team and swing momentum. Here's Towns. And the basket is good. Towns has got 12 points here in the second half. A former number one pick. Towns is unstoppable when he's on. A polished offensive talent with great size. Here's Williamson. Vanderbilt with the block. Edwards against Graham. Pass to Towns to take the lead. And that's two points on the layup. Towns has got 31. What a beast inside. When Towns gets in tight, he's almost a short thing. And Williamson throws it down. Easy to be excited about Zion Williamson. His future is bright. Edwards against Graham. Pass to Towns. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Towns has got eight points here in the quarter. This is the very definition of a back-and-forth contest. Yes, neither side taking its foot off the gas. I'm expecting a spectacular finish. To the inside. The shot from the low post is good. Now it's a three-point Timberwolves lead. All-out effort from Towns. Putting the team on his back and getting them the shot they need. Here's Graham. Off the left rim and out. Minnesota has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Over to the wing. Here's Towns. Money! He's been locked in all night and he's taking good shots. New Orleans calls timeout. They're down by five. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Oh, Williamson throws it down. A fearless competitor with a strong motor. You can trust Zion down the stretch. Here's Edwards. Money. <laughs> I'll tell you, those finishes are always extra special when they come from the point guard. Oh, forget about his passing. Can we see more dunking? It just shows you the versatility. This guy can do a lot of different things for you. Woo-wee! New Orleans calls timeout. They're trailing by five. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. Second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Edwards. Twenty-six seconds left to play in the fourth. And he commits the intentional foul. is the lead to six. And so he drops them both, and it's a seven-point game. Making the most of his trip to the line and helping them extend their lead. Pass to Valentunas. Takes the three. Rebound, Minnesota. And here's Beasley. And there's a defensive three-second call. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And the free throw, no good. Five ticks left in the fourth quarter of this one. And so it's Minnesota with the W. This was a hard fought, well earned victory for them. They and that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. So long, everyone.